But uh, so I'm giving thought to the the terminology and all that. So my favorite two terms, one, the first one is performance based. Now yeah. that can be changed to be lots of different things here. But to me, my my analysis, design, development, work, and all that stuff was performance based, performance centered, performance oriented. It was all about the performance, and it was more than just task analysis because tasks are performed to produce a worthy output, to borrow Tom Gilbert's phrase, worthy output. And so we need to understand the tasks and the outputs and the measurement of what constitutes good versus bad, and we need to understand what the feedback mechanisms are and whether they're timely or whether that needs to be re-engineered. Um, we need to look beyond task analysis. And because part of what we need to instruct or teach a new person entering into a new job is the whole context. And maybe they'll spend most of their time in one corner of the room, so to speak, but there's these other corners you may have to visit, and some of them, uh, you know, there's no telling when it'll happen, if it'll ever happen. But when it does, you have to be competent when you go off to do that. So, um, so we need to have this ability to do, take these holistic looks. And so the performance-based phrase does it for me. It's always worked. And the other one is a, is a term that I got from uh, Jim uh, uh, McCampbell of the Chicagoland area. And, uh, he's, I don't know what he's doing, if he's still alive or not, but anyway, he had a big influence on me. Measured results. So he always talked about measured results, and so that was a phrase I could use with my clients and talk about, well, what are their measured results? How are you measured? What, do you get a monthly, quarterly report? Or, and so those are your measures. Okay, good, let's start with that. So this project that you want to talk about and do, which of those measures is it going to affect? And how soon would it be? Is there going to be like a 90-day lag between us doing something and it showing up? Or when will it show up? And we can have those kinds of conversations and talk about what's the baseline data for those measures. Uh, what's the trend been? So that we can decide whether or not our the gap that we find in the interventions that we might uh, suggest, whether that's going to actually track back to those initial business metrics or whether it's actually going to change something else. So we've, we've got to be aware of it so that we don't mispromise or overpromise the client what metrics we're going to change. Um, but we have to start with something. We have to under, yeah. uh, take what they say and then investigate it to prove it in or prove it out uh, as not being correct. And then we'll have to, new issues to deal with as we go forward uh, because we're managing now client expectations and that. But so, but measured results was a key phrase for me and it's just because it's uh, everything that's good should be you know measured otherwise yeah. if it's if it's not worth measuring then why was it worth doing anything in the first place? If that's low hanging fruit let that go. Yeah. There's bigger fish to fry elsewhere in the uh, modern enterprise. Well thank you for those terms.